A report released today says there is more anti-Semitism than ever before. The Anti-Defamation League's report says incidents rose 140% in 2023, which shattered the previous record. So the report comes during a pivotal time in the Jewish community. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons digs into the numbers for you and shares the local call for unity. In this moment, there's nothing we need, need more than coming together. And that's what the Seder meal is all about. Dozens of interfaith community members took part Tuesday for the symbolic Passover tradition to aspire for something better, peace, harmony in a time when Jewish hate and division is at its worst. I wish I could say we're more surprised to see the numbers go up the way that they had the highest in recorded history. The Anti-Defamation League's latest report lays it out. Anti-Semitism more than doubled nationwide from 2022. Assaults up 45 percent, acts of vandalism up 69 percent and harassment up a staggering 184 percent. You don't have to be Jewish to be shocked at these numbers. Kelly Fishman is the regional director for ADL Cleveland. She says Ohio saw an anti-Semitic rise even higher than the national average. 367% increase. Jewish day schools or the JCC where many people, even those who are not Jewish, send their kids for preschool or daycare or summer camp. This impacts everyone. Nationwide, statewide. We went from having about an incident once a week and even here at home. Director of the Jewish Community Relations Council, Rabbi Ari Jun tracks local anti-Semitic incidents. He says Cincinnati's seen an alarming spike too. In the weeks immediately after October 7th, we were actually closer to one a day in the Cincinnati area. Uh, now for point of reference in Cincinnati, we've had about three or four just in the last week here. And these faith leaders say there could be more factors at play. Historically, anti-Semitism tends to rise when Israel is in the news and during election years. As challenging as it might be to understand the threats of anti-Semitism, it's demanded that we do the work, that we be curious, that we stay open-minded to conversation. And that means keeping seats at the table, sharing in the hope that maybe next year. You and I, if we have this conversation, I can say, you know what, there's not so much to report. Things are looking so much better. And that's my hope for 2024. In Amberley Village, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.